Ash Dawson. I'm the Farm Education Coordinator with Global Growers Network. And today we're giving you a virtual farm tour of our Umarima garden. Umarima came to us here in 2010 during the spring. Um, some growers from Burundi, Congo, Tanzania, and Rwanda. Resettled refugees came and broke ground on this land. Um, they had an interest in agriculture and supporting their mental and physical health. So they began gardening this land and that started a whole network of growers for Global Growers. So this farm is located in the heart of Decatur, Georgia. Um, this space is about a quarter of an acre. Um, that's including, this is Umarima 1. I'll take you over to Umarima 2 as well. And I'll walk you through it, give you a tour. Okay, so this is really the only natural resource that we use in our infrastructure, and they're just bamboo posts, which actually came from another one of our farms, uh, Bamboo Creek. Um, it's obviously sustainable, very affordable infrastructure. And we put these in place uh, actually to swivel the hose around the field. Before we had the hose, uh, it would drag through the crops and damage the crops. So now we have these, these posts and we simply just wrap the hose around to travel it through and bring it on down to our pack and wash, wash station. One of the favorite crops uh, of our growers here is uh, cassava, which we have some nice, beautiful cassava popping up right here. Uh, this is their staple crop. It's something that reminds them of home. They grew it in their home gardens a lot. Uh, we don't actually bring this to market. It's probably the only uh, crop that we don't bring to market. It's really just something that, uh, again, in support of their own mental health, um, they like to grow and bring back home to their families and friends for consumption. What makes this space unique is that we don't use any machinery. Everything is done by hand, so we water overhead. Um, we don't use any drip irrigation. Um, so there's a lot of labor and a lot of love put into this space. Also, everything is, um, we till by hand, um, harvest by hand, and these ladies just put a lot of work into what they do. So this is our wash and pack station. As you can see, it's very small. It's the size of the farm, uh, but we're able to get a lot of things done in here. We've got our drying racks. We have overhead to protect our veggies from any sun damage scale. We've got our double barrel wash station here. Again, we keep the gravel all around to support uh, the proper drainage in the area. So my role as farm education coordinator looks a lot like providing ongoing technical assistance to the farmers. Um, mostly I facilitate and coordinate workshops, classes, um, and that is really guided by the farmer's interest as well. Whatever they want to learn about, any skills they want to enhance, um, I provide. I provide that support. Um, sometimes I'll bring in other experts from other farms and other organizations to come and edu educate the women on whatever topic it is uh, that they'd like. And recently, that's been a lot of uh, food safety efforts, considering uh, the pandemic. So since we are in the middle of a global pandemic, uh, we've taken the proper regulations on the farm to ensure everyone's safety. We've got our signs that are in multiple languages, um, just farm safety guidelines about washing your hands, don't come if you're sick, what to do if you are sick, and the protocols that we use during this pandemic. As a part of our safety protocol, we've installed these mobile hand wash stations. As you can see, it's just a simple bucket, the valve, easily refilled and maintenanced. We've got our paper towels, easy to read visual sign, step-by-step -step instructions on how to use that, garbage for disposal, and we always keep 
the gravel on the ground to support the drainage. now at, um, as I mentioned earlier, we have Umarima 1 and Umarima 2. They're really right around the corner from each other. So now we're at Umarima 2 and this is the best example that we have here of maximizing our growing space. So as you can see, it's very much rogue style, just haphazard farming and while it might not look the prettiest, they're getting the most value out of this space because they're using every inch of this land. They have, again, the cassava, we've got African eggplant, there's some squash here, lots of beans, peanuts in the front, some corn. We actually also have some leeks growing right there. So they've managed to do quite a bit with this space. So um, earlier I mentioned that Umarima in total is about a quarter of an acre, but when you incorporate this space, it's probably in total a half an acre size farm that everyone will farm. Um, so there's a half an acre potential yield, um, which is achieved through intensive agriculture. We maximize our space by using row style farming, raised beds, intercropping, and vertical growing techniques. We also use integrated crop rotation. We're able to yield approximately 250 pounds per week, which averages to an annual growth of 12,500 to 15,000 pounds, uh, approximately $30,000 a year. Last year we received a grant from Wholesome Wave um, and allowed us to provide our growers with some market education. Um, and with, those, with that funding we were able to not only bring our growers along with us to market, which um, some of them had done in the past but not all, um, all wanted that experience and that education. Um, we also were able to build, uh, we got funds for an outdoor classroom. Um, some more educational signage and I was able to buy some more educational supplies to host some more workshops for them. Um, we did a few workshops that were um, related to the market. So let me think, we did, um, I hosted a workshop where we just did a, like a roof beautification, um, best practices, market setup, market breakdown. Um, interacting with customers, uh, telling your story, and just basic general market practices. So that was really effective and our growers got a lot of education through that experience. Um, most, um, most prominent I remember they were able to improve the quality that they were bringing to the market once they were able to put eyes on all of the other things that folks were bringing to market. They were able to compare the quality of their product, the aesthetic of their product, and refine that, make it even better. So now we're producing a greater product through the means of that education. And those are just, that's just a few examples of the types of education that we provide here in this space, which is an educational space as well as a commercial growing farm. We hope to see you back soon at our farm stands, which is every Saturday here at this site. Um, the pickup time is from 9 to 11, and you can find out more information about what we have available weekly in our pre-mixed veggie bags at globalgrowers.org.